So hi guys, in this video, I am going to focus these three questions. What is concrete? What are the different rates of concrete? And what is concrete proportional? So let's get started. What is concrete? Concrete is the most popular construction material used for the construction of different structures. Because of several reasons, concrete is more popular than other construction materials. The first reason is that concrete can be made practically anywhere, in remote sites like in a jungle or in the middle of city. As long as you can transport a cement to a certain site, then it is easy to make concrete there. The another reason that makes concrete more popular is that concrete can be molded in any desired shape because of its properties in initial time of mixing when concrete is fresh. And the third reason is concrete is challenging material because it has to be economical for it to be used in a large scale. Concrete consists of cement which works as a binding material in a concrete. Aggregates which are of two types, fine aggregates are the filler material and because of coarse aggregates, concrete get its most of the strength, where the water plays an important role in the process of hydration when it comes in contact with cement. Sometimes concrete may incorporate with chemical admixtures, mineral admixtures or fibers. Chemical admixtures are used to improve the plasticity of fresh concrete, that is to improve the workability for a given water cement ratio and maintains workability with reduced amount of water. Mineral admixtures supplement the function of cement, which helps to save the cement in some cases. Fiber could also have been added to make the concrete more resistant to cracking. Let's first understand the concrete as a whole with respect to the different ingredients. Basically, we have the pieces of coarse aggregates of different sizes within a concrete. And to fill up the spaces between these coarse aggregates, we use fine aggregates. So the words are reduced within extra space. That is, there is a cement paste fill ups and access the binder between the aggregates. So that it means concrete is made of coarse aggregates bonded together and words are fill up with the fine aggregates and cement paste which hydrates when comes in contact of water and becomes a hard and gives a solid material a concrete. So how we can define a concrete? For a civil being, concrete is a man-made civil engineering material that looks like a stone and can be used for the construction of structures. For worker or labor, concrete is a mixture of aggregates binding materials with water in a definite proportion. And for a civil engineer, concrete is defined as a composite material made with cement, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates and water in a definite proportion, so to achieve a minimum required strength. So here we get to understand that for a civil engineer, concrete is very important from strength point of view for a definite proportion. So to achieve a particular strength of concrete, we need to use particular ingredients in a specific proportion where the proportions of ingredients in a concrete depends upon the grade of concrete. As per BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards, grade of concrete are based on compressive strength of concrete. Compressive strength of concrete can be determined by casting concrete cubes of 15 by 15 by 15 cm and tested on the compressive testing machine after the 28 days of curing period from the day of casting of concrete cubes. So, the M5, M7.5, M10, M15, M20 etc. are some of the grades of concrete, where M stands for the mix and the numeric value 5, 7.5, 10, 15, 20 etc. are stands for the compressive strength. Concrete proportioning means the proportions of various ingredients in a concrete like cement, fine aggregates and coarse aggregates. Mixing these ingredients in a definite proportion is called as the concrete mix. So, there are two different methods of proportioning. The first one is nominal mix and second one is design mix. When proportions of cement, aggregate and water are adopted based on the arbitrary standard and the concrete is produced is termed as the nominal mix concrete. Nominal concrete is used in works where the quality control requirement for design mixes are difficult to implement. When the task of deciding proportions of constituents of concrete is accomplished by the use of certain established relationships and concrete is produced is called as the design mix concrete. So now let's understand nominal concrete mix. The following table shows proportion with respect to the grade of concrete. For general guidance, nominal mixes correspond approximately to the different grades, where the proportion is the ratio of cement is to fine aggregate is to coarse aggregate. 
For example, for M5 grade of concrete, proportion is 1 part of cement, 5 parts of fine aggregates and 10 parts of coarse aggregates. Similarly, for M7.5 grade, concrete proportion is 1 is to 4 is to 8. For M10, 1 is to 3 is to 6. For M15, 1 is to 2 is to 4. For M20, 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. And for M25, proportion is 1 is to 1 is to 2. The sufficient water is added to the mix of cement, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate to make mix workable. In this method, the grading of aggregate sometimes cannot be achieved and there is no control over the strength of concrete. Mixed design can be defined as the process of selecting suitable ingredients of concrete and determining their value of relative proportions with the object of producing concrete of certain minimum strength and durability as economically as possible. The purpose of designing as can be seen in the two folds. The first object is to achieve the stipulated minimum strength and durability of concrete. The second object is to make concrete in the most economical manner. There are various methods of proportioning, arbitrary proportion, fineness modulus method, maximum density method, surface area method, Indian Road Congress IRC 44 method, high strength concrete mixed design, Mixed design based on flexural strength, road note number 4, grading curve method, ACI committee 211 method, DOE method, mixed design for pumpable concrete, Indian standard recommended method as per IS 10262-2019. Out of the above these methods, some of them are not widely used because some of drawbacks and difficulties in the procedure of these methods. So I hope you like this video, if you like this video, hit the like button and still if you have any doubts related to this topic, you can ask me by posting it in the comment section. I will be grateful to the viewers for their comments and suggestions for further improvement. Lastly, thanks for watching.